Yo, what's up, homies? Welcome to the Team Fear channel. My name is Clever Tricks, and today we will be dissecting a unique ability that is exclusive to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, and that ability is called the Boost Slam. To execute a basic boost slam maneuver, first double jump. While you're in midair, press the B or circle button and you will quickly descend to the ground, obliterating any enemies directly below you. The lethal radius of your stomp is fairly small, but you can inflict damage by landing near enemies if not directly on them. Before we get into some scenarios that would be best for boost slamming, let's first look at the properties of the slam itself. Once activated, you'll notice that even when standing still, the boost slam will propel you forward by a small margin. The slam angle does not change, not even with forward momentum. Here's an example of stomping while standing in place and with forward momentum. Both land in the same position as the other. Also keep in mind that jumping is not required for the boost slam, you simply need to be in mid-air. So just dropping off of rooftops or elevated positions is all that's needed to activate the slam. This is very useful for getting places quickly, since slamming is faster than falling as you are thrust towards the ground. This will give you an edge in speed when traversing maps effectively. Now let's look at some in-game examples of where boost slamming will come in handy. Remember though, it's not easy to kill an enemy with a boost slam. Most enemies are moving, which will involve a lot of practice with this technique. But the easiest way to pull one off is on an enemy that is stationary. Remember, the trajectory of the slam will pull you slightly forward, so just line it up and execute. Moving enemies require a significantly higher difficulty. Not only do you have to predict their movement, but also keep trajectory of the slam in mind while trying to control your movement mid-air. This will require leading the enemy. This means don't aim a boost slam where the enemy is, but where you predict they will be. So aim in front of your target and base that aim on their speed and direction of travel. This is always best done from an elevated position. Now slamming is rarely going to be your go-to choice for taking out enemies. In fact, you should mainly reserve it as a reactionary impulse when already in the air and spotting an enemy below. Low. If you rush around trying to exclusively go for slams, you are not going to be very successful as most engagements don't call for such a technique. But recognizing when to slam will get you out of sticky situations when you would have otherwise been killed. Take the one-on-one -on -one firefight for example. This engagement may lead both parties to double jumping, dashing side to side, and generally battling it out in an intense back and forth. If at any point in time you lose sight of the enemy underneath you, boost slamming may save your life. Now, it doesn't matter how high you are above your enemy to boost slam. As long as you have activated the slam, you will kill an enemy on impact. Here's an example of a very short boost slam getting the job done. Boost slamming enemy campers and corners is also a good idea. As they tend to remain stationary, you can avoid their fire by double jumping, and with the help of the corner keeping them in place, the slam is almost always guaranteed to kill. Another effective way to use the boost slam is when engaging with goliaths. Goliaths are slow moving, heavily weaponized mech suits that players earn via score streaks. Engaging with them singly is a fatal pursuit since they can take a lot more damage than your average soldier. But if you must, consider the boost slam. Since their position is always shown on the map, make sure to attack them at their flank. Engage quickly and boost slam the goliath. If other teammates have peppered the goliath with shots, it may only take one slam. But if you miss and it takes more than one slam, immediately jump into the air and slam again. Because they are such slow moving entities, acquiring you will be almost impossible, especially if you keep in close. And second boost slams will do the job. Lastly, if you equip the overcharge perk, it will give your boost slam stun-like effects, momentarily disorienting and slowing the enemy so that you can finish the job. P.S. If the proximity of the enemies is close enough, you can take out two at a time. Possibly more. But that's a test to conduct for another day. Again, my name is Clever Tricks, bringing you this tutorial in conjunction with Team Fear. Thanks for watching. Peace.